In this video, I'm going to continue working on this activity, 7.2 sectional views. In particular, I'm going to work on this part, part number four. It's on page five of the activity. I'm going to model this part and create this drawing. Start out by creating a new part. Create a new sketch on the XZ plane. Choose your rectangle tool. Start at the origin. Type in 2, tab, 5, tab, enter. Finish your sketch. Extrude three inches. Create a new sketch on this face. Turn on construction geometry. Project geometry. Project this face. Select the line tool. Select the midpoint of this line, the green dot, and draw a line across to the other side. Turn off construction geometry. Select point. And place four points on this line. Make sure that they're on the line. Choose Dimension, select that line and the first point, make that point 75, still in Dimension, choose this line in the second hole, the second point, make that 1.75. still in dimension. Make this 3, still in dimension. Make this 4.25. Finish your sketch. Point to this first point, and with that highlighted, choose the whole tool. Choose counter bore. Specify a distance. Choose distance in this menu. Referencing the drawing, this hole, it's 0.5 diameter. The depth is 2 inches. It has a counter bore of a diameter 0.75 and a depth of 0.5 inches. So I'm going to set that here. So the diameter is 0.5. The depth is 2. The counter bore diameter is 0.75, and the depth of the counter bore is 0.5. So your settings should look like this. Select OK. Go to your project browser, and underneath this feature that you just created, the hole, you'll find the sketch. Grab the sketch and drag it up out from underneath the hole. And the sketch should be here and it should be visible on your part. 
select the second point, select your hold tool. And this is a countersunk hole. If we're going back to my original drawing, you notice it's uh, 0.5 diameter through. And it's a countersunk hole. The diameter of the surface is 1 inch and it's 82 degrees. So let's make this uh, the di diameter of the countersink at the top is 1 inch. It's 82 degrees. We're going to go all the way through to set this through all. And the diameter is 0.5. So your settings should look like this. And select OK. Select the third point and your whole tool. And going back to our drawing, uh, this is a simple half inch diameter through hole with a tolerance. Select this first drilled hole through all, half inch diameter. Select OK. Select the fourth point and select your hole tool. Going back to your drawing. This is a quarter inch diameter. It goes down a distance of one inch. There's a counterbore of diameter 0.375, and the counterbore is a quarter inch deep. So we'll choose counterbore, uh, change through all, change that to a distance. The diameter is 0.25. The depth is 1 inch. The counterbore diameter is 0.375. And the depth of the counterbore is 0.25. Your settings should look like this. And select OK. Change the material to aluminum 6061. Select your top view. I want to make this my front view. Select your context menu. Set current view as front. Save your file. Create a new drawing. Place your base view. Change the scale to 1.5 to 1. Place an ISO view here. Select OK. Select your ISO view and change the scale to 1, 1 to 1. Turn on shaded. Select OK. Select Annotate. Select the Center Mark tool. Point to the outer diameters of these holes. Go to Place Views. Select Section. Specify this view. Select this 
midpoint and then move a little bit to the left select there draw a horizontal line across and select here move your cursor down and to the right right mouse button continue place your section view here go back to annotate select centerline bisector select this midpoint and this midpoint midpoint here to midpoint midpoint to midpoint right mouse button cancel select this line and drag this up Choose your dimension tool. Notice that I'm using datum dimensioning, using this as my datum, rather than the chain dimensioning shown in the drawing. Choose my hole and thread tool. Select this dimension, hit carriage return, select this plus minus symbol, space, type in point zero zero two T H R U. I'm specifying a tolerance for this hole. I'm specifying that the hole can be as large as 0.502 and as small as 0.498. Choose Eye Properties. Select Summary and change the title. Change the title to 7.2 Section View Part 4 and change the author to your name. Select File, Export to PDF, save the PDF file in your Documents folder, and submit the file to Project Lead the Way to complete your assignment.